Hello and welcome to video training number two for the Planar Content Smart Media Player and Software. The video number two will be around the software training. My name is David Everson, Product Marketing Director for Digital Signage here at Planar. As we mentioned in the first video around the hardware training, within the box you will have a CD that looks like this. Once you receive it, go ahead and insert that into your CD drive. Go ahead and close it and launch your CD. After you've inserted the CD, you will see the autoplay configuration coming up around your Content Smart Media Player. The first thing you want to go ahead and run is the Setup Wizard. Go ahead and click on the Setup Wizard. It'll say, Welcome to Planar's Content Smart Setup Wizard. Go ahead and hit Next. Determine the folder that you want to go in. Typically, it goes into your C drive. Hit Next. Confirm that you want to install the software and you'll notice the installation status bar being generated. Okay, once the installation is complete, the wizard will let you know. You can go ahead and close the um, execution program and you'll notice that you'll have a shortcut icon on your desktop, which is the Planar Content Smart software. Before I take you into the actual software, I did a really nice simple visual tool here for you to show you what we're gonna be going over on video number two. The first step is taking your existing assets, whether it's a video file, a photo file, PowerPoint, or music, you'll import these assets and files onto the Planar Content Smart digital signage software. Once you've designed your playlist, then you'll export that to your media player, either via the network or a USB card. And then once you export it to the media player, that will then allow the digital signage um, display to start working. So I wanted to do this quick visual representation of what we'll be going over here on video training number two. Okay, in order to launch the Planar Content Smart software, go ahead and double click on the shortcut icon on your desktop, and it will launch the Planar Content Smart software. So what I wanna do here is give you a nice overview of what you're looking at. On the upper left-hand corner, it'll show the MP3450. If for some reason it's not automatically defaulted and loaded, which is the Planar Content Smart model number, go ahead and click down and highlight the media player model number for you. This next section here is the looping mode. The looping mode is pre-loaded by default on the software. And the looping mode basically means once you've designed and built your playlist, it'll play that playlist over and over and over again, hence the name looping mode. As a second option, which we will review in video training number three, you can also do weekly scheduling. So again, we're gonna go ahead and stay with the looping mode. This third icon is once you've designed your playlist, you would export that to the media player. The next thing I wanna to talk to you about are the templates that we've designed for you. Click on the down arrow. This gives you all of the standard templates highlighted in gray here, as well as the smart widget templates over on the right-hand side here. So for the sake of discussion in our first example, I'm gonna show you what each one of these templates look like. This first template, as you can see, is shown right here, and it's highlighted in yellow, and basically this is a single zone template. So the zone is highlighted in yellow. So you, as you can see, it's a single zone. Using this one as an example, you can see here that it's one, two, three, four zones. So what you see here, one, two, three, four. And the aspect ratio, what you see here, is representational of how your digital signage display layout will look. So 16 by nine is your standard aspect ratio. If you have an old display that is a 4.3, you have that as an option. And you've also have the ability, when you have it in portrait mode, to rotate that to nine by 16. But again, this is your standard landscape digital signage display. And again, this template has four zones. On the upper left-hand corner here, you'll see it highlighted in yellow. And it's made it really easy for you. It lets you know that in this particular template, in this particular zone, you can upload an image. So let's go ahead and do that. Come down here to your Add button. Click on the Add. It takes me to my desktop, which I've already loaded out some Planar demo folders and files. I'm gonna go ahead and do this JPEG and go ahead and open that and load it. So as you can see, this zone right here is your playlist zone by region of your template. So this template highlighted here shows what the playlist is. An example is I've loaded that JPEG. If you don't remember exactly what that JPEG looks like, you have a couple of options to see it. You can click 
highlight it, click and drag it to your pre preview window here, and it'll show you, ah, okay, that's the images of the shoes. That's exactly what I want. And again, you, it'll show you here, preview for title confirmation only. Let's go down to the next image zone, and I'm going to go ahead and upload another JPEG as an example. So now you can see I've got a second JPEG here. If you don't remember again what that looks like, you can highlight it. A, you can obviously click and drag it, or you can click the preview button. If you go down here to your preview window, again, it shows you what that JPEG looks like. So this is a great feature as you're loading assets, whether it's video or JPEGs, so that you can actually preview what those assets look like. Going into a third zone here, you'll notice that your options are video, image, or audio. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with a video image, this video clip, and I'm going to go ahead and add that. And here's a great feature that I want to highlight for you on the left-hand side here. This particular area shows you all of the recent assets that you've started to load to your playlist. An important differentiation, however, is you'll notice that this particular zone on this template will allow you to upload multiple different assets, a video, an image, or audio. If you click back over to the zone that only allows you to, uh, to upload images, it'll only show you images. So this is a nice safety feature that we've built in for you so that if you're here and you see all these assets, but this particular zone, for example, won't play a video, I'm not going to show you the video options that you've uploaded here, so to make it really easy for you. So going back over to this example, I've uploaded a video. You know what? I want to go ahead and bring over two additional images on there. And that allows me to because, again, this particular zone allows you to do video images or audio files. So lastly, I've got my fourth zone here, which is the ticker. To build a ticker, you would open up your notepad. For this example, I went ahead and said, welcome to Planar Content Smart Training. Go ahead and click File, Save As. And for this example, I'm going to call this Welcome Number 3. And go ahead and save that. Close that out. The highlighted zone is still highlighted. I'm going to add that particular file to the playlist, welcome number three, open that. So again, we've got our four different zones with each zone's playlist showing here. Once you're ready then to publish or export the playlist to your media player, go ahead and come down here to proceed to export or this export button up over here. I'm going to go ahead and hit proceed to export. You'll see the file loading and you'll see the media player showing up. Once the button here turns green, that basically means that this media player is online and you're allowed to then export this content to that media player. If you remember from the video training number one, the hardware training, we went ahead and named this particular media player men's department. So if you had multiple players here, children's department, women's department, etc., obviously for this particular content, Playlist, I want it to only go to the men's department media player, highlight that, and hit to export. If for some reason your media player does not show up, you can click on the add button, manually type in the IP address and hit OK. Wait for a minute and it'll automatically load that media player here for you. So again, I'm going to put this content to the men's department uh, media player, hit export and it's going to go ahead and push all that great content that you've designed to your media player. So right now I'd like to show you what that looks like. Okay, this is a visual representation of the digital signage content that you just built in our demo. You'll remember on the upper left hand corner I put that JPEG of the footwear. Right below that there was another JPEG of 25% off men's shoes. And if you remember on the right hand side zone I uploaded a video and two JPEGs. So if you look at this content you'll see the video playing, Boom, there's my first JPEG. It's got a seven second duration. And then it's gonna to transition to the second JPEG, which also has a seven second duration. And then it's gonna automatically go back to the video that you've loaded for that zone. So this is that looping mode that I mentioned to you. It's gonna keep playing this over and over again. And at the bottom, as you can see, it says, welcome to Planar Content Smart Training. And naturally you can make that say anything that you want. So again, welcome to discovering how to design and deploy digital signage content. Hopefully you found this very easy, and I'm going to show you one additional feature here for the video training number two. Okay, welcome back to the digital signage uh, content smart software screen. Um, as I mentioned, I'm going to show you a really unique uh, feature here, 
and that is taking you over to use these smart widgets. And these smart widget templates allow you to do some really unique features that the standard uh, templates do not allow you to do. So using the same example of a four zone display, exactly what we've done before in the standard templates, on the upper left hand screen here, as you can see now, we can either do the image or a widget. Now widgets are located to the right of this plus sign. So if you use the drop down arrow, you've got multiple things that you can put in here. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and put a clock in the upper section here. I'm going to go ahead and remove that prior JPEG. And as you can see, it's just the clock. The same thing you can do if I want to change the color of the clock. Right now it's green. I'm going to go ahead and put that clock in blue. Going back down here, you'll see that I still have my 25% off sign. I'm going to go ahead and leave that. I could change it if I want. I could put a calendar in here. I could put weather. I could put Twitter feeds, news, etc. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it as a 25% off shoe sign. Up here, if you remember, I've got the video that goes into two different JPEGs. I'm going to go ahead and leave that as well. And at the bottom here, again, you'll notice I can do an image, a ticker, or a widget. If I wanted to and I had internet connection that allowed me live RSS feeds, I could actually go to the RSS link. And as an example, just to show you what that looks like, this is the CNN's website. You would go to their RSS feeds, for example, copy the US RSS feed, go back to your Content Smart software, copy that RSS feed in and hit OK, and you'll notice that it's got an RSS feed loaded in that zone. I'm going to go ahead and delete that for this example and just go ahead and leave it at the welcome text. So right now I have changed all of these using the smart widget templates. I'm going to go ahead and hit proceed to export. I'm going to go ahead and show you what that looks like now on the actual digital signage display. Okay, so as you can see, it's the same digital signage display that we had on using the standard templates, but now you can see the smart widget templates. We've got the clock on the upper left hand corner. We've got the 25% JPEG below that. And as you remember, on the right hand side, we've got the video and we've got these two JPEGs looping. So we've got the shoe image, we've got the 25% off image, and then it goes right into the video loop. So it gives you real time clock displays on the left, goes right into your scheduling below, and as you can see below, the ticker that says Welcome to Planar Content Smart Training is still there. And as I mentioned earlier, you could use the RSS feed if you've got live um, internet connections. So that concludes video training number two for your standard and smart widget template configuration. And if you would like to learn about the weekly scheduling mode, please refer to video training number three. Thank you.